last book. I gotta tell you something. This might be the fav- my favorite book I've read in a long mm, time. Mm, this is a this is a a DC hidden gem, hidden gem, super mensch. And if you are hidden gem, if you subscribe on YouTube to us and you leave a little comment about this book here, I will post a link to a photo of Becky, our own Becky here, at, who works at Drift with uh, with the super mensch himself wow. and Shep Gordon and Alice Cooper. Come on, yeah. When was that? I can't. Do, I can't. Are you subscribed to YouTube? No. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. Actually. Okay, so I'll, I'll answer you in the comments. <laughs> so this book was incredible. DC sent me this a couple months ago and said, "Please make Shep Gordon your mentor and study it." And uh, it would have been easy to say, "Well, this guy's a rock and roll manager. I don't even like rock and roll." And also, what does that have to do with marketing? I learned so much dude. about marketing mm-hmm. from this damn book right here. And you've probably seen it. Maybe you've seen a documentary, but the book is phenomenal because it's his take. Yeah, there's a Netflix documentary, right? Yes. So okay. Shep uh, was the manager for um, Alice Cooper, Teddy Pendergrass. He brought Emeril Lagasse and all the, the whole celebrity chef movement over mm-hmm. here, the Gypsy Kings and so many so many more people. And you know, the, I won't tell you all the story, his stories from the book, but this was a, a lesson for me in, in reminding myself that the best lessons about marketing don't come from people who actually say they do marketing. This guy Bingo. was a PR freaking genius. P- Bingo. You nailed it right there. The best lessons in marketing are not in marketing. They're not in marketing. No. No. They're from people like this who have created something out of nothing, right? So, and so this is, if you're into the cooking channel, into any celebrity chef, yeah. it all traces back to being popularized by my man here, right? Like you said, Emeril Lagasse, Wolfgang Puck, yep. Ro- Roger Ver- Verger, Come on. Daniel Boulud. Like all of these people managed by him. You know who else? Who? The late great. The late great who? Chef. Yeah. Anthony Bourdain. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a Bourdain book. Yes. That's right. He put this book on. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good line. So Anthony Bourdain himself. Pretty good. Who was uh, this. managed, you know, the late great Anthony Bourdain uh, was managed by Shep Gordon and was a longtime friend. And he actually put this together. And if you watch the documentary on this, which is available I believe on Netflix, it's on Netflix. That was put together by another friend of Shep Gordon, Mike Myers. Mike Myers, right? If you don't know Mike Myers, Austin get, Powers, get to know him. Get to know him. <laughs> yeah, he's a fam- famous comedian. So that says a lot. And this guy did not want to be famous. Did not want to write a book. Mm-mm. And uh, his friends uh, pushed so hard yeah. and believed in him so much. They forced him to write this book and to do the movie. It's an amazing book. I'm going to give you. I don't want to give away all the secrets. I'm going to give no, you no, one no. Shep Gordon story. Don't give away too much. When he was trying to put Alice, uh, Alice Cooper, when he was trying to make him famous. Yes. Uh, he, so they were, in, they were in London in the busiest traffic circle in the, in the city. And he bought a, a, a big truck and they put a, a poster, they put a billboard of Alice Cooper, like basically naked on it in a massive like 18 wheeler truck. And he told the driver, I want you to go in the middle of rush hour and I want you to just break the truck down in the middle of traffic. He goes, I don't care what happens. I'll take care of you. I'll bail you out, whatever. Yeah. So this when, guy goes, when you go to prison, when you go to prison, I, I got you, you and I'll write you a and big he, check. He will, and he so, did go to prison. So literally at rush hour, the busiest intersection in London, there's a, there's a 18 wheeler. They broke it down. It caused massive chaos and hysteria in, in the, in the, the driver city. went to jail. The driver went to jail and then they sold out the Alice Cooper show because it had the whole place, whole London being like, who the hell is this Alice Cooper guy? Exactly. I got to go to the show. And on every news program. Yeah. It's amazing. So if you're going to Dreamforce this year, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Break down a giant 18 wheeler. <laughs> Uh...